Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and for today's video I am super excited to be bringing you my first ever manga haul. So if you didn't know within the past couple of months I've been kind of dipping my toe into manga and I'm super excited. I've been enjoying it so much and I actually have a lot of manga now because I started off small and I just want to try so many different things to know what I like and I like there's so much manga out there and I don't know where to start it's kind of overwhelming so this is what I have as like my little starter pack <laughs> if you will um so yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys today I don't think I have anything else to say, so let's just get started with all. I am horrible at transitions, it's fine. So, the first two manga volumes that I actually picked up were volumes one and two of Waiting for Spring. You guys saw this in a wrap up. I may have put it in a haul, um, but like I haven't hauled all of these, so they're not gonna all be repeats, don't worry. Um, but these were the first two volumes and I read them and I absolutely loved them. I was completely obsessed and so I had to continue on with the series, obviously. So after I picked up the first two volumes of Waiting for Spring, I placed an order and it was just a huge manga order. And so in that order, I bought the next three volumes of Waiting for Spring since I so thoroughly enjoyed this series and I really wanted to continue on with it. Plus manga for me are super easy to just fly through and read in like a sitting or two. And so I wanted to have like a few of them so I picked up these. Also in that order, I picked up Orange. I'm not saying the manga cons names. I'm horrible. Waiting for Spring is by Ana Shin, I think is how you say it. And then this is Ichigo Takano. I am probably butchering these names. I am so deeply sorry. Uh, I'm really, really trying. Correct me in the comments if you know the proper way to say it. And I am just not saying it properly because I don't want to say them wrong obviously but I did pick up Orange and this is a highly loved manga on booktube and one that is highly recommended for people who are just getting into manga and so I figured this would be a good start plus it's a little longer than like this obviously in comparison and so um I figured this would be one that I could just kind of work my way through and would take me a bit more time to get through and so you know like I could kind of hold myself over on manga if that makes sense um this one is about this girl who gets a letter from her future self giving her advice on certain situations and um it's I think primarily about like friendship but there's like a magical element to it I'm not very far in I'm like 10 pages in so like literally not very far but I am really enjoying this one and I cannot wait um to continue on with it the last two mangas that I got in that order were Horimiya volumes one and two this is just another friendship novel I forgot to say what waiting for spring is about it's a basketball manga kind of uh, but it's primarily about this girl who is a loner throughout high school and she becomes friends with the basketball team um, while she's at work and they come in frequently. They form a little bond and then there's a nice slow burn romance and it's just literally the cutest thing ever and it makes me smile every time I read it. This is another friendship manga about these two girls who in school they just they have these personalities that they put on but it's not really who they are and when they go home they're literally completely different people and they meet outside of school and form an unlikely friendship and it just sounds so cute. This is another one that I have heard talked about a little bit um and it just sounded like something that I would enjoy and kind of similar to Waiting for Spring so I wanted to pick these up. Then not all at once but I don't remember exactly how I purchased them so I'm just gonna show them all at once. I picked up the next five volumes of Waiting for Spring so I now have all of the volumes that are currently out of Waiting for Spring. So these were the next five volumes that I purchased. Then I picked up two more completely different mangas. And the first one was Death Note Volume 1 of the Black Edition, which means that there is Volume 1 and 2 in this. Um, so it's like a bind up and there are six of these. 
um, this is about a boy who finds a piece of paper, journal, thing, I'm not really sure, on the ground one day and he opens it up and he discovers that if he writes a person's name inside and how they will die, that it will actually come to fruition and it was actually the god of death's, um, like, it belonged to the god of death and he, like, leaves it, he, I think he just kind of wants to see what will happen if humans possess that power um and it's a very dark manga i actually have not read this one either but it is one that i am super excited to read this is the only like fantastical one that i think i own um but i am super excited and this one is absolutely raved about on booktube as well um i hear that the series kind of goes down as like goes downhill as it continues uh but i still really want to give it a try because people love the beginning of it and i just want to see this story unfold it sounds super interesting so i am very excited to also have this one then i got a manga bind up like it's it's the only one it's like a standalone i don't know manga terminology at all uh but that is i want to eat your pancreas by yoru sumino and idumi kirihara I'm probably butchering these and I'm so sorry uh, but this is about a girl who has a pancreatic disease and only her family knows uh, but she writes it in her journal and one day this boy finds her journal and reads it why would he do that I don't know but he does and he knows her secret now and he feels really bad for her and he becomes friends with her and the back says a bittersweet romance um, this just sounds super cute the title was a little off-putting which is the original reason that I picked it up I was like what is this um but it sounds super adorable I haven't really heard anyone talk about it I don't think maybe a couple of people but like I haven't heard of anyone like review it necessarily just they kind of mention it in halls maybe maybe not I don't know um my memory sucks anyway I'm super excited to read this one it sounds like it's gonna be really cute and really heartbreaking um and just like another swoon worthy story so I'm really excited to read this one the last four volumes I have are all the first volume in like a series um and they're all like different and I'm obviously duh Anyway, I'm super excited. I just wanted to kind of try a bunch of different ones and see what I liked, see what I didn't, um, and just go from there. Actually, I found a lot of these, um, that I'm about to show you on Pages and Panels Manga and Graphic Novel Shelf tour I think I'll try and link the video below first of all her room is absolutely adorable and second of all she has such an amazing collection um she says it's small but like I don't think so um and I would highly recommend that she goes into depth about some of the manga and different things like that and also graphic novels I got a bunch of suggestions for that and so there are some that are on my radar now that I need to go out and pick up uh, but anyway, that's not what this is about, but I would highly recommend that video and I will try and link it in the video in the description box below if you are interested in watching that. Anyway, the next four volumes that I got. The first one actually is another fantasy one. I completely forgot about that. And that is The Promised Neverland by Caillou, Shirai, and Posuka Demizu. I am so sorry. I know I'm butchering this. This is about a house full of orphans um, and they refer to like the owner of the orphanage as mom. Um, they have a great life and one day they visit the outside world and they discover like how horrible it actually is and what's actually out there and how dark it is um, and it just sounds super interesting. I looked at the reviews on Goodreads for this and they were absolutely incredible and that is primarily what piqued my interest because everyone was talking about how they needed the next volume right away um so maybe I kind of screwed myself by only getting the first one but it's fine we all know I'll go out and buy a second one if I really need it like it's not that big of a deal but I am super excited to read this one I haven't heard like anyone talk about this I don't know if it was in her video or not. I honestly can't remember. Um, but this one sounds super interesting and I am so excited to read this. The next one I know for sure, like 90% sure, uh, was in her video and that is Shortcake Cake by Sue Morishida. 
Um, this is volume one, obviously, and it's about a girl who goes to a boarding school. She is going to move in with a couple of her classmates since her commute to school is so long and she doesn't really get to hang out with them much. And so she moves in with a couple of girls and three boys and she kind of develops a romance is what it sounds like and it sounds really cute. Plus this cover looks absolutely adorable. Like I said, this was in Pages and Panels video and she absolutely raved about it. So that definitely piqued my interest in this one as well. The next one was the other one that I saw in her video and really wanted to pick up and that was Love in Focus by Yoku no Nogiri. Um, this is kind of similar to Waiting for Spring from what I remember, except it's about a girl who's really interested in photography and then a romance ensues and it just sounds really freaking adorable. So I'm very excited to read this one as well. Then the last manga that I have to haul for you is Love Living Dining Kitchen by Ayu Watanabe. Um, this is not one that I have heard like literally anything about, but every time I like look at it in Barnes and Noble, it really piques my interest and I am just, I want to get it every time. And so I finally did. It's about a girl who lives in this apartment and this boy moves in next door to her. She finds out that the boy is actually a prince and he goes to their school and he rejects her best friend but then a romance ensues between them and she feels really bad because he rejected her best friend and she doesn't want to hurt her best friend's feelings but like she can't help it since they live so close to each other. It sounds really cute and I'm really excited. I think that there are only four volumes currently out and I don't know if there are more coming out but as of right now, at least all my store has is five. And so I am super excited to read this one as well. This is all of the manga that I have to haul for you guys today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if some of these are not good, not worth my time, what ones are your favorites, if you've ever read manga. I am so curious, I am so like ignorant to the world of manga, and I'm so excited to be diving into it, um, and hopefully eventually anime. I want to read the manga before I watch the adaptations though. One that is definitely on my radar, but I have haven't picked up yet is Full Metal Alchemist. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to just kind of embark on this new style of reading and storytelling. I probably sound like an idiot. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you all in my next one. Bye guys!